Get a. I can do. My toys. August 23, 2019 and today I've launched my new online website called Fun Toys and this is a sole trader. I'm sole trader and I'm the owner of the Fun Toys and basically what I'm selling is baby toys and toddler toys and yeah it's so exciting and probably you're gonna ask why I'm selling toys. Well as a mommy, as a mother, I really like buying toys for my child, for Michael. Hello guys, right now we're heading to a business seminar. The reason I'm gonna attend with this kind of seminar because I'm gonna start my online business soon. I have my ABN already, Australian business number, and then I got my business registered as well. Alright, see you in a bit! pre-sales and then I take it through and I actually can start selling that idea to the market. And we have a program under our banner and entrepreneurship program. By 2050, the Australian Bureau of Stats estimates our population will be between 30 million and 42.5 million. They never get it right, so let's just assume it's a higher rate because it probably will. So 42.5 million, take that as a figure. In 2050, 40% of our entire population will be over 50. That's 7.3 million people in that age group. By even a conservative estimate, we could have upwards of 2 million people willing to work. And what if we're treating them the same way? 27% age discrimination, two years to get a job. They'll be unable to find a job, they'll be suffering from that age discrimination, and that's just 30 years from now. We hear inflexible, we hear that they've been trained in, in manual work in manufacturing and they can't do something else. I don't care what people can't do because I have seen amazing business owners come from all demographics, all backgrounds, who've come up with an idea and taken it to market and been successful if they're given the chance. And that's what we need to do. As Chris said, I wrote this book, Generation Experience. The title says it all. To start the conversation, enable to do it yourself. It shares the entire IP that we have in our program and our service of 10,000 business owners. I'm writing a new book called Status Zero because just prior to making the decision to start a business, mature age people go through this rejection phase. I would ask more questions, I would get more quotes. I felt like I was sort of obligated to use family, friends, businesses and things like that. And there's no, there really is no friends in business, so I'm mm. learning that the very hard way at the moment. It's there's so many places out there that they can, you can use and they can use. So just take it as another, another thing that's happening and yeah, learn from it and ask questions and find people and talk to people in confidence and yeah, get help, get, use as many of these programs as you can. We pay enough tax, right? So we may as well get some of our money back by using these programs. <laughs> Now building networks, yes, but it's sometimes how you interact, particularly in a community-based business like you've got, it's different maybe for me or for Hunter, but for you it's, it's, it's grounded and you are like a, a pivot point, a focal point for the community, a point where people gravitate to because they all feel welcome. So. 
I was privileged to talk to Sonia before we started today and how involved she is with actually employing people that are disadvantaged in her business. And um, I think that this is a, a, a part of business that is very, very um, well hidden and not discussed and, and spoken about openly, which, um, which disappoints me personally. And I know as an organisation, Chris Hunter and I are very, um, are very <coughs> passionate about this, but I need to know because I think that some people think that it's a very noble cause. And I think a lot of people would love to somehow integrate it into their business. But for me personally, I'd love to know, how did you get involved with employing disadvantaged people? How did it come about? It actually came with the business. I bought the cafe as an ongoing concern. Um, and yeah, we had Emma was working there uh, from Nova Employment. Um, from that, the office is right next to my cafe as well. So I got to know a lot of the staff, heard about the things they do, started to meet some of their transition to work kids. So the ones that, just out of high school, they need a bit of extra help getting into a job, whether it be uh, learning difficulties, autism, even just anxiety, depression. But the services are there to make it easier on you. But it's not, it's not easy. It is a lot of what extra work, but it's so rewarding. And once you get used to it, and they have the service providers set up the plan for you, and, and they're there to look after the kids. So I don't have time to teach them how to use the dishwasher but it's the same person is there supporting them, so they teach them. Uh, I've just got to you know, tell them this, what, this is what's going to happen next and things like that. And you see the change in the kids and it's, it's yeah. yeah. The, I couldn't imagine doing work without having any of it. The online world versus the offline world. So the offline world now seems negative, right? Just in terms of terms, right? On and off. Okay, so the big thing that's going on right at the moment is that everyone is being told that you have to be online and you have to operate elements of your business with technology. Now technology is very, very useful. Phone technology, communications technology, cloud-based stuff, applications, all these things are all very useful support tools to run a business. Their purpose is to help a business owner run a business more effectively, more profitably, it's easier, etc., etc. But I just want to make this very, and I'll be completely out there, I reckon 99% of all marketers in the world are completely different to me, so I'm now almost calling myself the anti-social marketer, because don't think that being online and having a Facebook page and having a website and being socially connected with five and having likes and followers and all this sort of stuff is anywhere near being a solution to running a business. The only solution that works for running a business that worked 700 years ago in Italy when they came up with all of the guilds of the potters and the veg vegetable growers and the whatever else, potter, potters and candlestick makers and artisans, is what will work 700 years in the future and that is connection to people. You might use technology to get a connection, like survey or whatever else, but don't confuse the online world with Running business. Going to fun toys. Alright guys, it's August 23, 2019 and Fun Toys is finally live and I'm so excited. Alright, I'm in a dashboard right now, the real time live view. At the moment it's only one right now and maybe because it's too early in the morning, it's only nine o'clock. I've launched the website. It's nine o'clock Australian time, Sydney. So let's see what happened today. It's really exciting. All right, visitor, it's now two right now. Two right now, mommy. Yeah, because it will take time, Michael. It will take time for us to have visitor in our website, but we'll get there. Good day. I can do my toys. One of the sample products that I'm selling is from Playets, and this is called the Two in One Harness Body. I got a baby play mat from B, B Baby, and this brand is really good and they are not toxic and BPA free as well. One of the things that I'm selling as well is activities for kids and this product came from Funbox Activities. They do wholesale as well and this is really cool actually, it keeps your kids entertained. Another one is from Kurimko. 
cream could have a good run with all their stock toys and I'm selling the drop one this is really nice and Michael have this one as well another item I'm selling is the high chair toys and this is from top toys and really good quality as well and this is for maybe six months above and another one this is so cute this is a shopping cart and high chair cover and this is gray actually this is unisex you can use it for a boy or for a girl another one that I'm selling is the snap on the hook so basically you can use it when you go shopping use it for your cart or for your shopping cart or just use it on the prom that's really cool and this is from play it another one is a shopping bag another items that I sell it's called in car play center by top toys they're really good actually and if you have a look on my website guys there is a video there most of the toys that I sell have some video in it so you have an idea how to use it or how it look like good day guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching and it's been a while I haven't uploaded a new video the reason is I've been busy building up my new business it's called fun toys fun toys basically I sell toys for babies for toddlers and some kids activity my website is www.funtoys.net.au and uh, for now it's gonna be a domestic shipping it's not available international but just for now just for the time being and eventually it will be available internationally all right well guys maybe you're wondering why sell toys why not other things so basically I'm a mom of little Michael he's three years old right now and I really enjoy and I'm having fun buying toys for him and I'm thinking oh maybe I can do a business selling toys why not well, once upon a time I was working full-time I was admin assistant for many years and then things changed and now I decided to create my own business and it's gonna be online so means it's gonna be home based so means that I have more time for little Michael so so yeah before you start your business make sure that you have your ABN or here in Australia we call it Australian business number for sure in some other countries you have your own terminology but here we call it ABN or Australian business number and once you got that you can register your business to ASIC right so once you got all those legality you are ready to communicate with the suppliers or distributor all my suppliers and distributor are based here in Australia my website provider is Shopify and I have my own domain connected to Shopify and I done all myself I created the website so basically if you know how to use computer and if you don't want to pay someone to do your website and you think you can do it you know go for it and you're gonna save a lot of money and to give you an idea how much it will cost you to pay someone like to create your website I think it will cost you like from $2,000 Australia to hire someone to do your website so that's what I did I've created the website instead of paying someone to build my website guys visit my online store www.funtoys.net.au and you will find a lot of nice toys for babies and for toddlers and some activities for kids as well and they are affordable thank you so much guys and I'll see you in my next video and please don't forget to subscribe as well alright take care everyone bye